Who's the founder of Tesla? If your answer was Elon Musk, then you'd be wrong. No doubt, most people think that Tesla was founded by its charismatic CEO, Elon Musk. But the story behind this car company is way crazier than that. In a relatively short time, Tesla has grown to become gigantic and adored worldwide. Since its media debut in 2013 with its flagship car, the Model S, Tesla has remained in the spotlight. In 2014, the Model S hit an all-time sales record of 2,500 units in the US. By quarter one of 2015, this number had tripled to over 10,000. Tesla is now considered to be a staple within the electric car niche. But contrary to popular belief, Tesla's journey did not begin with Elon Musk, nor was it an overnight success. Let's go back in time. Tesla was founded by two Silicon Valley engineers, Martin Eberhard and Mark Tarpening, in 2003. They believed and wanted to prove that electric cars could be better than gasoline-powered cars. Although Tesla Motors was incorporated on July 1st of 2003, the seeds of the company go back to 1990 when both founders met. Mark Tarpening was an engineer working for Textron in Saudi Arabia. While visiting home in California, he met his longtime friend, Greg Renda. Renda worked for Weiss Technology and had asked Tarpening to come check out some of the work his company was doing. During his visit, Tarpening met Martin Eberhard, an engineer at Weiss Technology. In no time, both engineers became friends and would often have long dinner party conversations. As their friendship grew, both guys would join a group of other geeks every few weeks to play Magic the Gathering, a trading card game. Eberhard was always trying to hack the rules and devise a new strategy to beat the game. In some occasions, he was successful, and in others, things fell apart quickly. Their friendship soon blossomed into a profitable business relationship. Eberhard and Tarpening started consulting for disk drive companies and later founded Nouveau Media on April 15, 1997. In late 1998, the pair released the Rocket eBook, which made it through two holiday seasons and shipped out around 20,000 units. In 2000, after receiving an unsolicited offer from Gemstar TV Guide, Rocket eBook was sold for $187 million. With a success story already under their belt, Eberhard and Tarpening were still itching to start another company. Eberhard's passion for autos was kindled after he went through a divorce and decided to buy a sports car. But Eberhard recalls saying, I couldn't bring myself to buy a car that got 18 miles to the gallon at a time when wars in the Middle East seemed to somehow involve oil and the arguments for global warming were becoming undeniable. This decision fueled his interest to begin research on high-performance electric vehicles, which didn't quite exist at that time. From building out spreadsheets to sorting through several energy options, Eberhard was eager to know more. He went through every power source you can think of. Gasoline, diesel, hydrogen fuel cells, natural gas, and several battery types. Eberhard soon discovered that electric cars were the most efficient on the list and hydrogen fuel cells were quite terrible. Further research led him to an electric car hobbyist community where he met AC Propulsion, a boutique electric car maker. What was even more interesting was the fact that the company had a super fast electric sports car called the T0. The T0 proved to Eberhard that an electric car didn't have to be slow. He invested in the company with the hopes of obtaining a copy of the car. Eberhard even thought of joining forces with the company to build a production level electric car rather than a hobbyist vehicle. Sadly, he soon discovered that his ambitions were not in sync with the culture of the firm. At this point, Eberhard considered launching his own company. By 2003, Tarpening and Eberhard knew that they wanted to start an electric car company, starting with a two-seater sports car with an induction motor and lithium-ion batteries. Talking about induction motors, Eberhard wanted to give credit to the man who patented the AC induction motor, Serbian-American genius Nikola Tesla. Tesla was a 19th century inventor who discovered the properties of rotating electromagnetic fields. His work led to the discovery of alternating current, which is a primary way of transmitting electricity today. And that was how Tesla got its name, in honor of Nikola Tesla. On April 23rd of 2003, Tarpening bought the domain name teslamotors.com. On July 1st of the same year, the company got incorporated, and by August, they moved into the company's first office in a professional office building in Menlo Park, California. By fall of 2003, Eberhard and Tarpening started refining their idea in a bid to make formal pitches to investors. Their first round of funding came from family, friends, and a handful of venture capitalists. The investments were small because there was no one to lead the round. But fortune was about to smile on Tesla. 
Earlier in 2001, Tarpening had dragged his friend Eberhard to see PayPal's co-founder Elon Musk speak at a Mars Society conference at Stanford. They introduced themselves and didn't reach out until March 31st of 2004. Elon being Elon was interested in the idea and on April 23rd of 2004, the paperwork of their partnership was finalized. Musk would go on to lead a 7.5 million round in 2005 and became the chairman of the board. In 2006, the company unveiled the prototype of its Tesla Roadster, which entered production in 2008. With the Roadster, Tesla has brought something entirely new to the car industry. The electric car was produced with specs that could meet consumer needs. The first model of the car could travel 250 miles on a single battery. Its acceleration and speed were also at par with other consumer-level sports cars. This was just the beginning of how Tesla started. The company has since moved on to produce other models and has been entangled in a web of many controversies. The story of Tesla is still being written, but it all started with the curiosity and adventure of two engineers, Martin Eberhard and Mark Tarpany.